Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina and my YouTube channel name is Crochet Gal. Welcome in everyone and thank you so much for all the new subscribers that I have received in the last month. Thank you very much and um, let's get started with what's been on my hook. Well, not a whole lot has been um, done since the Christmas and New Year's has passed. I haven't really done much, but I put a lot of thinking into what I'm going to be doing for Valentine's Day. Now, in the past, I've done large projects such as uh, the Amigurumi bunnies. I've done unicorns. And this year, I think I'm going to change it up to a little bit more of something simple. So I was just thinking along the lines of Valentine's and, you know, what it's about and and how we just emphasize on sharing gifts with loved ones. Well, that should be done throughout the year. But anyway, that's another subject. <laughs> so what I decided to do is make a crocheted envelope. Okay. And this is, I'm going to show you the first one I did. Here's the first one, and all it is is a square. And then I folded this flap upward and then the two sides inward, stitched it down, and then of course brought the flap down. And then I stitched on a little amigurumi heart. Now the heart didn't come out right. Again, I was winging it. It was the first um, stitches that came to mind. So I tweaked it afterwards and made it a little bit better. Plus, the yarn that I used wasn't uh, quite the yarn that I wanted, <coughs> excuse me, that I wanted to use. Now, again, all my stash is just tons of balls, little uh, pieces of round little balls from leftover projects, and that's mainly what I crochet my amigurumi with. But anyways, on this one, it, it's a more firm, it's a more heavy uh weight yarn so this isn't quite the look I was looking for so then in remembering some of the stuff that I've had I remembered having just a small leftover ball of yarn that had a lot of fibers in it okay and I found it I was super happy I found it and this is what it looks like now last month during well actually it was November I was thinking of doing some snowman but this ball is not very large and it's not wound very tight so there's not much here so I didn't do the snowman because I thought the fibers would uh, create a really fun looking snowman so I thought well you know what let me try it with uh, the envelope which I did and here's this one it's a cute little fuzzy little envelope isn't that adorable and again, I've made the heart a little bit better. And then I was getting real crazy. So I thought, okay, because originally I was thinking paper, you know, because I'm a scrapbooker. I love paper. I love scrapbooking and that kind of stuff. And I love all those crafts that we used to make years ago with um, the paper crafting. And it was so much fun. So that's originally where I got the idea from the envelope because I used to create my own envelopes and cards and all that sort of stuff. So that's basically where this stemmed from. So um, I decided to cut some two by three little sheets of paper and then I've stamped on them. Let me get that ad out of the way. I wish we could have music that has no ads um, without having to pay for it. <laughs> So anyway, I stamped a little cat and it has a little heart on there. So that, that was kind of a cool Valentine's theme. So I stamped it all over the place, edged it up a little so that little love notes can be written on this one. And then I did one with hearts. And then another one with hearts. There's going to be three little um, love notes enclosed into the envelope now I didn't cut these to size properly I'm gonna have to probably cut a half inch off so that they fit snugly into the little envelope isn't that adorable I thought that was a cute idea and it all stemmed from the paper crafting and I haven't done that in ages so I think I'm gonna start dabbling again 
<laughs> okay, so here is the, um, well, actually, let me, let me show you this one first. So basically, I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, when I folded up the flaps and brought these two inwards, I did stitch them down here. Okay. Then, of course, I attached the heart. And then because of that, you see this kind of all these ugly stitches. Well, I'm going to create a little swatch and just tack it down there. And then I'm going to add two little Velcro circles so that it stays closed. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a couple of tips <laughs> as far as what I did wrong originally. Okay, so I created um, a square. Very simply, you crochet 21 chain stitches. Okay. After the 21 chains, then you go across for the first row and you're going to come up with 20 stitches. Okay, so that's row one. You need 20 rows and it's not even, it's so easy that, you know, you don't need a tutorial. All you just know how to do is, is a chain stitch and a single crochet. So you need 20 rows. Now, when you start your chain, leave a long tail. Okay, and there's a reason for that. Okay, normally we end... You know up top stitch it through and this is why okay so here is how you fold it up okay and here's that long long piece of yarn there and hopefully you could see it because it's white and it's kind of hard to see so then you fold your flaps inward like so or is it the other way around is it like that I think the actual envelopes look like that so you bring the I'm gonna have to look at an envelope <laughs> now um, so I think you put these in first and then you bring up your flap now here's why you leave a long tail so that you can stitch closed these little sections right here okay so what I did on the first one I didn't leave a long tail and the long tail was up on top, so I had to weave all the way down through here and up front and then close it this way. So that's a little tip. So you're leaving a long tail when you first begin your chain, okay? So again, you bring this down far enough so that it looks like an envelope, okay? And I, didn't, I don't have an extra little heart made. But you get the idea, right? So you stitch your amigurumi down here, your little heart, and then it creates this cute little envelope. And this is what it looks like. Adorable. Let's see, I might even play uh, play around with the size. I kind of would like my envelope to come out a little bit more. Hmm. Well, let's play around with that one, right? Okay, so thank you for viewing today's video, and this is what I'm going to be making for Valentine's. These cute little envelopes with these little love notes tucked inside. Tucked inside here, and I thought that was really cute. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day, and let me know what your ideas are in the comment section to let me know that you're, what you guys are working on out there. All right, have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.